tropical storm Allison has made land. The storm has stalled over an area from as far west in our viewing area as Fort Bend County, and the cell is moving in a northeast. We can expect pattern. several inches of rain. Flash flood warnings are in effect throughout the viewing area. Officials are calling this the worst flood in Houston's history. Some 15,000 residents now without. While not confirmed, the coroner's office says 22 people have died. Shelters have been set up to provide temporary housing for the victims of the flood. On the night of June 8, 2001, Tropical Storm Allison dumped three feet of rain across the Texas Gulf Coast region. The resulting flood ranks as the worst natural disaster in our region's history. Normally, a storm like this would hit land and keep moving, but Allison stalled and just kept dumping rain for several hours over communities that were already saturated with water. What compounded the problem was that the flooding was spread out over such a wide area. Access to many of the affected areas was cut off by the high waters, and that made the immediate rescue and relief efforts more difficult. Recovery from this disaster will take a long time. 48,000 homes were damaged. Of those, 3,600 are a total loss. 118,000 residents called FEMA for help, more than any other disaster in United States history. But that was just the beginning of the battle. I had insurance, but never thought to get flood insurance because it never flooded out here. The lady in FEMA, she came out. For some reason, they got me mixed up in the system that uh, I was making more money than what I was because the first time they only sent me was 3,000 and something. And I told them I needed, you know, more than that. And then meanwhile, everybody that was coming out here, they was charged, they were saying like $30,000 fix my house up. If they use all of that, what am I gonna use to, you know, get furniture and everything? So all my stuff is gone. It's real hard. One minute you got it, next minute it's gone. It's like your life. the people affected live in one of 20 zip code areas. That's more than 62,000 households. Nearly a third of those have children under 18. Another third are households headed by senior citizens. Both of those groups are families living on less than $14,000 a year. So the hardest hit by Tropical Storm Allison are people who can least afford it. United Way of the Texas Gulf Coast and its affiliated agencies were quick to respond with immediate relief efforts. The American Red Cross and Salvation Army mobilized to set up 51 shelters to house more than 17,000 people. They provided financial assistance to more than 30,000 families in the form of vouchers for clothing, medicine, food, and essential household items. In the days immediately following the flood, more than two million meals were served to flood victims. Area churches and corporations also mobilized their congregations and employees to provide relief to the flood victims and began helping with rebuilding. In a time of need, the community demonstrated its ability to respond to the challenge. But relief at the time of the disaster was only the beginning of the story. It's almost all the work we have done it for ourselves, my brother and I. But still there is um, a lot to do, like um, the kitchen, we don't have the cabinets yet. And um, the bathrooms also, we don't have no cabinets, we haven't buy that. And there was five churches, they got together and they helped us a lot, they gave us clothes. But at uh, that time it was summer, you know, they gave us enough clothes for that time. But now the winter is coming, you know, we're kind of like pretty sure on the winter clothes, we don't really have that much. My wife, she had a stroke this year and she, she had admin. When the flood come, we didn't know how long it was going to take. We didn't know all this damage was going to be until we pulled the sheetrock out and see the mold, the mold on the sheetrock. It's very hard for my family to live in a trailer like this with the problem, the sick problem they have. I saw on the news the other day that um, the shelters are suffering because a lot of the donations went out of, out of the state and to other countries, but there's still a lot of help that needs to be done right here in Houston, and there are a lot of families on the north side that are in desperate need. A lot of people um, think that the, the issues with and the recovery from Allison is over with, but it, it's not. It's still with us, and it's gonna be with us for some time. And even after all this stuff is repaired, it's still gonna be up in here. The victims of Tropical Storm Allison need help now. 
One Houston United is a visionary campaign established by the United Way of the Texas Gulf Coast to provide additional assistance to the victims of Tropical Storm Allison. The goal is to raise $4 million to provide assistance to these flood victims through the United Way. Well, I have uh, offered to volunteer as a, a case manager for Allison Flood to, to work in the community to help others and to inform other people as to how to work the system or the process. Volunteerism, I, I think, is, is what makes this a wonderful community to live in. We have a tremendous quality of life in Houston, and, and there are a lot of reasons for that. But one of the ingredients is that the degree of volunteerism, the number of people in this community that are willing to step to the line when things like this happen or, or when any need is, is present. And, I think that's what makes this a great place to live. Local congregations representing all faiths are devoting time to educate their respective congregations about the long-term recovery needs and will be holding special collections during their services to benefit the flood victims. But to reach the goal of $4 million, the entire community needs to participate. In an unprecedented move, a telethon is being organized involving major area television stations. This unique telethon will include a concert at Enron Field featuring some of the biggest names in music. This concert will be broadcast simultaneously over channels 2, 11, 13, and 39, and others. Throughout the three-hour event, viewers will have the opportunity to phone in their pledges to support One Houston United. Houston has always been a community known for its generosity and attitude of neighbor helping neighbor. We hope you'll participate with your local church group throughout January to make the second collections a success. Then join us on Saturday, January 26 at 7 p.m. for One Houston United. This will be an opportunity for all of us to demonstrate our involvement in this great community and to provide help to our neighbors affected by Tropical Storm Allison. Our neighbors just can't wait any longer. They need help now. So please join us for One Houston United and do whatever you can as a volunteer to bring much needed aid to your neighbors in need.